I have cold blooded. Even when I have cold blooded on the predator missile, always, always just picks me. Oh, I got him. Oh, let's go. He has fun. Do you remember 2016? I mean, what a crazy time it was, you know. We had like that whole McChicken, we're, I'm, I'm not even gonna bring that up actually. If you know what I'm talking about, don't question it, don't look into it, don't do nothing, just, just no. But besides that, you know, there were so many good things that year. Um, as far as YouTube-wise, that was before the, can I say adpocalypse? And everything, you know, people were just going crazy with content. So many people that, you know, we are still super big fans of were back then, you know, daily uploading, that was the prime time. Uh, Face House, New York, and all that. You know, I remember back then, I had so much content in my sub box every day. You know, being in high school, I literally could not watch all the videos every day. I had to watch, like, I watched before I went to bed. Then I would have to catch up, like, in some classes or at lunch the next day just to get prepared for the next wave of daily uploads. I mean, it was like an hour and a half or two hours of YouTube content every day. But also, in 2016, there was the gorilla. The gorilla we still honor to this day day harambe and that is why i'm here to show you now when you play the regular version of modern warfare 2 back then a lot of us would um we had the live long title with the gorilla emblem but playing iw4x i get to make it a little more special that's right we got our own live long harambe clan tag i don't know why like i'm just never gonna let that one go i don't want to call it a meme in a way but like just whatever you want to call it like the girl didn't deserve it, man. But besides all that, while this game's loading up, I want to take a quick second to show off yesterday's comment of the day. If you want to be today's comment of the day in tomorrow's video, all you got to do is make sure you watch the video all the way through that you subscribe with them post notifications turned on. Hit that like button and of course, drop a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for reaching the support. It's been insane. Hope you enjoy the video. You know, just thinking back, man, 2016 was in so many ways a crazy time talking you know, just thinking about all the guys that used to daily upload all the YouTube content. That's what I love so much now about, like, the new phase house, seeing Rain make his vlogs every day and just all that stuff, you know. It, it's just really cool in so many ways to see that content again. Because when I got back into YouTube, you know, that's what I flocked to, you know. That's that's what really got me going on all this stuff. I remember finding Rain initially and all them guys and binging their content for hours, you know. I remember going on a two-hour car ride at one point during that era. I just watched a bunch of old phase videos kind of catching up with what I had missed before I got there before I realized all this stuff that I've been missing out on for so long 2017 was still a great year don't get me wrong but 2018 was definitely like that drop off in so many ways that's when this just changed so much this platform you know what you could do what you couldn't do like back then it was just no holds barred that's what made it so much fun in a way and i'm sure that's what definitely turned a lot of people off and a lot of people away from creating and everything but you know just getting to go back and just watch that content still is just so much fun i mean like i feel like i've watched all those videos so many times i can't even watch them anymore just because like i've seen them so much my guy just got a triple with a javelin. And you know, another thing about 2016 for me, which is what I always think about is, 2016 is when I started all this. It's kind of just crazy because I remember sitting there one day, I, I don't remember if I was a junior or maybe it would have been sophomore year, a little before, but I was sitting there one day nonetheless. And I just remember thinking to myself like, you know, you always wanted to do YouTube when you were younger. You know, I probably had three or four channels at this point. I think the most I ever had on one was like 30 or 40 subs. And I remember the one time that I got like 30 subs. Like I was so hyped. I'm like, oh my God, like this is farther than I ever made it before. Like this is crazy. But you know, in some ways I had been on like on a break from gaming. Cause like once I had high school, like life just got busy, man. So like gaming just kind of fell out of like that everyday schedule. I just didn't care to do it as much anymore. You know, I stopped watching YouTube for a while for probably like a year and a half or so. And then I got back into it and, you know, I'm like, I want to get back into it. So I went back and watched a bunch of the old YouTubers that I was watching. And then I'm like, you know, I never did, but like, I want to watch some COD videos. I don't know why I never watched COD videos as much as we played COD back in the day. I mean, I remember making COD content when I was like 12 or 13, but we just made it and uploaded it. Like I had no clue about the community and all that stuff, which really hurts. Cause like I, I bought an HD PVR 
gaming edition the big freaking rectangle thing when i was like 12 and i had it and like we used to snipe we used to do everything back in the day but i had no clue how big it was on here but i remember sitting down and just thinking to myself like you know you always love this stuff and if i ever wanted to do it i ever wanted to start again like one last chance in a way like it's got to be now because you know like 15 16 to figure it's going to take I mean, five to 10 years to build something. Like, we gotta go. So, I started again, you know, I started watching more YouTube. I started just creating, I started trying a bunch of things. That's when I met Maru, and he really got me into all of the Call of Duty stuff that I didn't know about before. I mean, like, I started to watch FaZe and all that stuff at that point, but I mean, he really just taught me everything. I mean, he taught me how to edit in so many ways. Like, my, my videos were terrible before I met this dude. Like, I would just make, like, free-for-all live commentaries, just have a topic, talk about it, most days not even edit it and just like upload it straight i mean when i think about it and the fact that people watched it it still blows my mind but hey man somehow we've evolved in doing this and i'm very happy with where you are today you know i have so much fun doing this stuff and i hope that we get to keep doing it for a while and just keep i don't know the word like upgrading increasing going up I guess growing would ultimately be what I'm looking for. But it's just crazy to think that if I never met that dude on a free-for-all in Karachi in June of 2016, that there's probably a good chance I wouldn't even be doing this right now because if I would have kept doing what I was doing and making everything how I was making it, like, there's no way, like, I would have gained any so sort of support. Like, this stuff was straight up terrible. And ultimately, it would have just been one of those things where I just probably would have gave up. You know, life goes in different directions. You find other things. But I don't know. We're here and we're, we're still putting up a fight almost four years later it's gonna be four years in may i believe it's crazy that it's already coming up that fast i also love this camo by the way like, like just look let's look at that i'll never understand why all what? wow you know there's sometimes you can feel so good at this game and sometimes you just feel so bad <laughs> but yeah 2016 was just a wild year and there's in so many ways where i just miss it so much just the time you know grinding six mans with the homies i don't even know if you could play a six man on you know modern warfare 2 or any of those games and there's there's a painkiller on black ops 2 there's no way you could play six man anymore with it being all modded out and even if you got the mods yourself i'd be very surprised if you're gonna find six other people searching for search and destroy in this current day in modern warfare 2 you might be able to the shake package definitely helps if you had someone that had the shake you would definitely go for a six but you know it's just change man like those were the old days and i wasn't even around for the like i was but not in this community wise like i wasn't a part of it you know i wasn't fully into it back then like when it was super going crazy but i'm very happy i caught the tail end of it and at least got to experience some of it but there is one thing i want to bring up here and i'm probably gonna you know mention every day for the next couple weeks on twitter instagram discord everywhere we've been talking for a long time now about hosting a private match lobby on xbox 360 on a weekend night for a stream and i want to start talking about it now so that way like we have a week to plan it so i'm thinking next saturday I think it's gonna be like the 18th or whatever that that saturday if i'm wrong on the date you know i want to um for the stream that night i want to get everyone together in a private match on 360 and i want to just have some fun you know a um, mike myers lobby has been requested by a few people now to set up and host that and play that with you guys so i'm definitely down to do that i would love to play like some sabotage capture the flag maybe even some third person a bunch of old game modes as well that we don't get to play anymore because we can't search for them because literally like there's nobody in the game but mike myers has definitely been like the highest requested so please Please let me know what you guys think about that. I'm thinking Saturday because, I mean, just the weekend seemed to be the best for everybody, even with what we're going through right now. That'll give us some time to promote it and try to get some people going, and it should be good. Oh, and something crazy happened the other day that a couple of you guys told me about while I was on stream. So if you guys know who the Gaming Revolution is, he's a big guy in the COD community. He kind of, he discusses all the leaks and just everything like COD news. That could have been disgusting if I got all of them, but he talks about like all the Call of Duty news, leaks, and whatever, and his Twitter got suspended, and some people were claiming that it got suspended because he was talking about Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer. Now, I don't know how true that is, but if it is true, it just gives us more of the theory that it's actually going to happen, which is super dope because, like, we're just kind of getting these little pieces of evidence piece by piece, and while some of them may be a stretch, you know, like, we have hope, and hope in a way is the only thing that we can ask for at this point and hope's a very scary thing don't I mean like don't get me wrong because we don't want to get all worked up just to be let down but like i am really really hoping that it happened wait what that said storm no 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 no, no. i want to play storm it said free for all on storm y'all saw it i want to play the it's not showing up oh no it was the map change i've been wanting dlc games so bad
I've worked too hard for these. I'm waiting it out. Classic schnook. They're all on the UAV. You can't tell me this thing can't get four kills. In a minute. We have a minute 50. And my teammate just wants to run over here. Like, to say hi? You're kidding me. I'm done.